Deepika Padukone, I had to take medication for depression. Deepika Padukone recently appeared on a news channel to talk about her battle with depression. In January this year, she broke her silence for the first time in an Hyde exclusive to tell the world that she was struggling with anxiety and depression, at a time when she was establishing her credentials as one of Bollywood's most sought-after actors. Here's the article in which she bared her heart for the first time about how she straddled these two aspects of her life and came out a winner. In early 2014, while I was being appreciated for my work, one morning, I woke up feeling different. A day earlier, I had fainted due to exhaustion, it was all downhill from there. I felt a strange emptiness in my stomach. I thought it was stress. So I tried to distract myself by focusing on work, and surrounding myself with people, which helped for a while. But the nagging feeling didn't go away. My breath was shallow, I suffered from lack of concentration and I broke down often. Over a period of time, it got worse. When my parents visited, I would put up a brave front because they were worried about me living alone and working long hours. Then, once, while talking to my mother, Ajjilipadagone, I broke down. She realized the problem, and got in touch with a psychologist friend, Anna Chandy, to get to the root of the cause. Every morning, it was a struggle to wake up, and shoot for Happy New Year's, HNY, 2014, Climax. Finally, I had a word with Anna Anti. She flew to Mumbai from Bengaluru, and I talked my heart out to her. She concluded that I was suffering from anxiety and depression. When she suggested I take medication, I was resistant. I thought talking was enough. Later, I met another psychologist, Dr. Shyam Bhatt, in Bengaluru for a second opinion. There were days when I would feel okay, but at times, within a day, there was a roller coaster of feelings. Finally, I accepted my condition. The counseling helped, but only to an extent. Then, I took medication, and today I am much better. Most of HNY was shot through this phase. But before starting my next with Shujit Sirkar, I took a two-month break to recover mentally and physically. I spent time with my family in Bengaluru and was soon better. But, when I returned to Mumbai, I heard about a friend committing suicide due to anxiety and depression. It was a huge blow. My personal experience as well as my friend's death urged me to take up this issue, which isn't usually talked about. There is shame and stigma attached to talking about depression. In fact, one in every four people suffer from anxiety and depression. I feel that at times, the patient just wants to talk, and isn't seeking advice. But, well-wishers saying things like, don't worry, it will all be alright, might be detrimental. Being sad and being depressed are two different things. Also, people going through depression don't look so, while someone sad will look sad. The most common reaction is, how can you be depressed? You have everything going for you. You are the supposed number one heroine and have a plush home, car, movies. What else do you want? It's not about what you have or don't have. People talk about physical fitness. But mental health is equally important. I see people suffering, and their families feel a sense of shame about it, which doesn't help. One needs support and understanding. I am now working on an initiative to create awareness about anxiety and depression, and help people. My team is working with me to formulate a plan, which will be unveiled soon.